Hello one with Mechanics. In this video we will show you how to do the maintenance job on a 2017 Mercedes A180 D or W176 equipped with a 1.5 liter diesel engine, 109 horsepower. Anyone can do this job as long as they follow the simple steps illustrated in the tutorial. You will need just a few cheap tools and no mechanical expertise. Don't go anywhere guys, meet you back in the shop right after our short intro. The tools you will be needing for this operation Get to use protective gloves in case the oil hasn't had time to cool off. Keep in mind that the oil must be still warm when doing the oil change. Remove the oil feeding cap along with the dipstick for a better oil flow. When the oil starts dripping under the car, you can begin removing the oil filter. Reach the seal of the new oil filter, clean any oil spills and thread it in place. Hand tighten the oil filter but not too strong. Hand tighten the drain plug or, if you have a torque wrench, apply a torque of 20 Nm. Use some brake cleaner to remove the oil spills. You will have to slowly pour 4.8 liters of 22951 Mercedes-Benz oil as the feeding line is quite narrow.
Check the oil level on the dipstick and don't forget that the oil filter will retain a bit of oil after you turn it on. To replace the air filter, you will just need a T20 Torx to remove the two bolts holding the cap of the air filter's housing. On the opposite side, there are two simple clips keeping it locked. Take out any remaining dust using compressed air or a vacuum cleaner. Then you can insert the new air filter and place the cap back on. To replace the pollen filter, you need to go under the dashboard on the passenger side and just pull the two clips on the cap of the pollen filter's housing. Take out the old pollen filter and insert the new one in the same position. We recommend that you use carbon filters. To replace the diesel fuel filter, you will need the angled extender and the 8mm socket. There are two 8mm bolts on the bracket that holds the fuel filter in place. In order to remove the metal bracket, you will have to disconnect the wiring. One of the bolts is located here. and the other one here. Use a flat end screwdriver to release the color clamps. Then gently remove the lines without damaging them in order to take out the old fuel filter. Put the new fuel filter in place and connect just the feeding line. Get the bleeding pump and connect the hose to the other pipe of the fuel filter. Bleeding pumps are very cheap, I will add the link in the description. Start priming the fuel lines until no more bubbles come out of the fuel filter.
Close the pliers to tighten the cover clamp on the feeding line and then remove the priming pump's hose, obstructing it so you don't get any fuel spills. Reconnect the other line and tighten the cover clamp. Place the metal bracket back around the fuel filter and thread the two bolts holding it in place. Tighten the two bolts using the angled extender. Insert the electrical connector in the harness. Press the starting button a couple of times without turning on the engine in order to bleed the lines. If all is fine, you can now turn on the engine and let it run for about 5 minutes. Place the engine cover back on. The splash shield. And you are done. Great job, one of the mechanics. Yes! Thank you very much for watching. Use the comments section for any questions or suggestions. And if you find our videos interesting, make sure you subscribe for the latest one of the mechanic videos. Bye bye.